Hey guys and welcome back. I am so excited you guys are here. I love that you even decided to click on my video. I know you guys love a cleaning video and today I'm just going to be picking up around my house and getting it together. We have some things piling up from breakfast and lunch and my kids are doing artwork. They tore up the playroom so I kind of need to reel it back in and get my house back in order. We also just had guests come and go this past weekend so I'm going to be in the guest bedroom room I'm gonna be washing all of the guest bedding including that shady duvet cover first thing I want to do is get in this playroom and get it together so my kids are actually responsible for cleaning up their playroom they know where everything goes there's a place for everything but I want to come in here and clean it up really quick and vacuum and I want to show you guys some storage ideas on a budget these are actually Easter baskets from the boys Easter last year. I picked them up from Walmart and I was not about to get rid of these. I am reusing them in the boys playroom. One is holding their cars. All of those cars in the basket can get really heavy. So I love that there's a little handle and the other one is going to hold all of their kitchen supplies like their food and dishes. Okay, on to the next storage hack. These are actually little pouches that my kids' bed sheets came in, and these are perfect to store little pieces in, like puzzles or little pieces to toys that come with a bigger toy. I think these are perfect to reuse instead of getting rid of. And I love that they come with a really strong Velcro strip so you don't have toys falling out. So the last hack that I want to share with you guys today is to go to Walmart and get you a set of these washing machine bags that are obviously meant for washing delicates, but I think they're perfect for storing toys and keeping everything together. These are perfect for traveling with if you want to travel with toys and they come with a really nice zipper. So even if you just want to use them for your laundry anyway, I will have them linked down below. So when storing these away, just throw them in a bin. Everything is nice and tidy. I got your letter. Guess this is better. You win sometimes, lose sometimes. No need to apologize. It was the distance we had between us. You broke us down in disguise. No need to apologize. That I miss you now, and I need to reminisce this cuz we're still at a moment, and they keep coming back to me. I can't help that I miss you now. Okay guys, so now we're on to the guest bedroom. Like I said, we had guests come and go this past weekend. Now that they're gone, I'm gonna go ahead and wash their sheets. I'm washing all of their bedding, including their duvet cover, which I have a love-hate relationship with duvet covers. So girl, if you are coming over, your bed will be ready. Can say I like it, but I can fight it. Some things are not meant to be, even if it's hard to see. I'll try to let go. It's not easy, you know. Some things are not meant to be. Let's skip the apologies. Ooh, 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 ooh. After throwing in my laundry pod, I always use bleach on our white sheets and then I set it to bedding on my washing machine and let it go. While the sheets are washing I'm gonna go ahead and fold all of our towels that were starting to pile up. This is a mixture of kid towels, guest towels, dish towels, just things like that that I kind of just threw in all together after the guests left. I can help that I miss you now.
I like to keep my kids washcloths available in hands reach when I need one so I just put them on a shelf in their bathroom and as far as the guest bedroom or washcloths I roll them up put them in a bin and put them in the linen closet this little glass container is so cute to me. I store ice water in here for our guests and the top actually doubles as a glass. I'm gonna try to find one on Amazon or something and I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. It was something in the Don't let this fool you, these boys don't like cleaning up all the time, but the camera was on and so they felt the need to help out. So my husband just got home and he's also helping me in the kitchen, which is super sweet. So after I put these dishes away, I'm going to put the groceries that he brought home away as well. If you guys are storing food in these plastic containers, I suggest cutting out the measurements and directions and putting it on the back side of your container or even underneath. It's great if you wanna make more or less than you usually do, then you will have everything you need right there. I'm not going to be doing a deep clean in this video. I'm not going to be cleaning my floors. I just didn't have the time for that actually in this video because we need to get dinner started. And I really wanted to just pick up around the house and put things back where they go, clean the dishes, clean the countertops, everyday things like that. I do plan on doing a good deep clean to my kitchen and I want to use some new products. So make sure your notifications are turned on so you won't miss it. Hey guys what's up this is the next day same video you guys see me previously clean the sheets to the guest bedroom now I'm gonna tackle this stupid duvet cover and get that clean and put back on
y'all i usually can just put wrinkled sheets on the bed but these were so so wrinkled from being left in the basket overnight so i decided to test out ironing the sheets to see if i would like it I usually just put them in the dryer on steam and that gets a lot of the wrinkles out but we had something in the dryer at the time so i'm gonna try it out There's still some wrinkles on the sheets and I don't mind. I'm just not going to go and redo it all over again because it's not that serious. So I'm just going to continue to put the sheets on and then put the duvet on. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super random, but honestly, there's no right way to do videos like this. If you enjoyed it, give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, girl, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.